for the entrance let us take hymn number a90 on page 41 I offer this mass asking eternal repose for Marilyn Rodriguez may god take her to heaven and strength and consolation to the grieving family I also pray for Regan Fernandez this child celebrates his birthday may god bless him his parents and his brother kindly put forth your petitions and participate devoutly in this holy eucharist in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all <coughs> and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries and with a contrite heart let us say i, I confess, confess to almighty god, god and, and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned, sinned. in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord have mercy on us all Christ have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us all Lord have mercy on us Let us pray O oh God who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the acts of the apostles Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia and John left them and returned <coughs> to Jerusalem but they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia and on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down 
after the reading from the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent a message to them saying, Brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, say it. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel and you who fear God, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. And for about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. And after destroying seven nations in the land of Cana, he gave them their land as an inheritance. All this took about 450 years. And after that, he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet. But they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but behold, after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response to the psalm shall be, I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Let's repeat. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy in established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. Response. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your mercies, O Lord. I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. Response. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. My mercy and my faithfulness shall be with him. By my name, his might shall be exalted. He will call out to me, you are my father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Response. I will, I sing, will sing forever of, of your, your mercies, mercies O oh Lord. Lord. And we stand for the gospel. Amen. by your blood.
with you and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you o lord when jesus had washed the feet of his disciples he said to them truly truly i say to you a servant is not greater than his master nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him if you know these things blessed are you if you do them i am not speaking of all of you i know whom i have chosen but the scripture will be fulfilled he who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me i am telling you this now before it takes place that when it does take place you may believe that i am he truly truly i say to you whoever receives the one i send receives me and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me the gospel of the lord praise, praise be to the lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. He who ate my bread has raised his heel against me. In one word it implies betrayal. Betrayal because this person who has raised his heel has rejected Jesus from his life. Therefore betrayal. The purpose of betrayal is I reject you completely from my life. the world to rejects jesus even today we are pained we are worried and sometimes we are irritated and angry at why the world is not accepting re- jesus but rejecting all the more but jesus very patiently very spoke softly speaks in our hearts and asks us my child my son my daughter what about you why do you reject me how can the lord say that we are rejecting we have accepted him therefore we walk up this 33 steps of our church and come for mass every day well can count whether it is 33 43 53 homework for today even if we come half an hour late for mass but still we come it shows our acceptance but jesus says you all reject me when you all commit sin and today most of us commit sin and behave as if we have not sinned at all that is the greater sign of rejection that you all show towards me you all are not only raising your heel on me but also kicking the table and overturning the bread that i have given you all this is the fate of us we sin and behave as if we have not sinned at all what greater rejection can the lord endure we sin no problem in the sense if you have sinned repentance and if you see the readings today everyone reminds one those who went to proclaim the messengers give remind them that jesus was the one sent but the world rejected and therefore repent repentance should be there the sacrament of con- reconciliation and penance is given so that we repent we do not reject the lord no more at the start of the gospel these are the lines a servant is not greater than the master nor a messenger than the message or one who has given tasked him with the message yes the world which should have been the servant thinks it is the master and has wavered the master never wavers from his message his message is clear and stern he stands firmly by it Christ will not come again and say my salvation was all bogus it was a sham it was crap never he will say that he will always believe in his salvation and when he comes again he will come to judge us in his salvation it is we who are his servants 
It is we wise messengers will have doubts and will go away from him. May it not happen for us. As God said, David is a person who is after my heart or close to my heart, may he say for each one of us, his sons and daughters, you all are close to my heart. But it is we who make him say, you all have rejected me from your life. Therefore, what should I call you all? Answer to the Lord and seek his grace in this Eucharist. Hymn number B9 on page 69. Kindly rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Cardinal Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours for now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Hymn number D131 on page 159, D131.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restores to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for the Synod to our Mother Mary. O Mary, our Mother, you shine continuously on our synodal journey. When you said yes to the, to the angel Gabriel, you became a model of communion to each of us. At a wedding feast at Cana in Galilee, you, jo you joyfully participated in the first miracle of your son, Jesus. You accompanied the apostles in the upper room as they prepared themselves for their mission. Through your motherly love and compassion, you enlarged the space of your tent for all humanity. Grant, we beseech you, that through your maternal protection, presence, and guidance, we too may journey in your footsteps. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. See 39 on page 83. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Sing, I will sing. Uh... 